All right, it's a beautiful evening here in Green, Iowa, and today Chad and I are going to be checking out and test driving this 1966 Pontiac GTO convertible. Real GTO, real convertible, and a four-speed manual transmission. Yeah, really cool car. Um, it is a 1966 389 engine. I'm going to go ahead and pop the hood, D. A 66 389 engine, YS code, so it is a GTO engine, 335 horse. Really good driving car. It's got aluminum radiator, power steering, and power brakes. It's an original D2 paint code, which is the uh, original blue. Under the under the hood, it's just driver condition. You know, you can tell it hasn't been uh, frame off by any means. Um, engines a little chip paint, stuff like that. But uh, priced accordingly, it's a really nice turnkey, real GTO driver convertible. It's got a really good look too. You know, oh, it's yeah. got a few little paint it's got nice paint on it. It's got really nice paint on it. Uh, worst part about the whole car, as far as the paint, is right here. It's got a chip, a little ding, tiny ding on the hood. Front bumper's in great shape. Grill's nice. Looks to me like one of the marker lights right here. Uh, needs a new lens. And there's just a minor pitting on the chrome here on the uh, eyebrows, but those pieces are available if a guy wants to to make that nicer uh, we got two 66 blue gto's right now one is a complete frame off numbers matching rotisserie restoration and then this one is not but the price difference is uh you know whether you want a beautiful driver four speed or a show car trailer yeah. queen and so. as a convertible too this car i think once we get this up it should be gone like that you don't find them and you especially don't find them in the price range that this one's going to be priced yeah you're exactly right with a straight body you look up and down the sides it's a very straight body if you go to our website coyoteclassics.com you're going to go ahead and see that the floors and frame are nice and solid on it uh, you'll see about 20 pictures of that uh, showing you all the, all uh, every angle of that back of the hood lines up nice top of the cowl to the top of the door uh, front gap looks good as we go to the bottom here you can just see some little dust in the paint some little tiny little dirt specks down there no bubbles or blisters anywhere on that door lower quarter or the lower fender that's all nice and solid also the wheels aren't uh um, they're driver condition they've not been blasted and repainted they're in good shape but you can see some surface rust uh in behind that uh, trim ring a beautiful color though and a damn good looking car now here's another thing glass back window power top power top will work and it, we've had it up and down just fine but the switch was getting bad so we're going to go ahead and we ordered a new switch for it so um as far as the top goes look how tight it is nice top oh yeah very very nice top gto emblems are in good shape the bottom chrome all looks nice exhaust tips i'm gonna go ahead and fire it up d yeah uh tires still look like they got good tread on them i don't know how old they are uh, but the body is really straight. Passenger side's nice and straight on it. Sounds nice and crisp, just like a GTO should. It sounds really good. Door handles are original. Go ahead and open up the door jam right here. Our jam paint's real nice as well. Not quite as nice as the rest of the outside paint, but uh, very, very presentable. Door panels and the seats look like they're original, Dalton. If we look down here, look at the fading just on that lower carpet. I'm gonna say they're original door handles, window cranks are original. Armrest base is, um, looks like they probably replaced that. Here's what I like to see. Corner of the door, especially on a GTO. No body filler, no prior rust repair. The seats have a little bit to be desired. Um, you can tell they are original. The seam starting to let loose here. A little spot on the cord. And then just one spot here on that seam as well. But they're only original once. And really presentable. Yeah, exactly. It's not, it's not like you need to replace them. No. Back door panels are excellent. I mean, they're, this one looks like almost brand new and it's original. And the back seat's nice. Original GM seat belts. No rips or tears. It's got the Hearst four-speed shifter. Um, wood grain is nice. It's got the factory clock, not the factory tack. Console is in excellent shape. Um, see, it's got a little seam split here too on the driver's side. So, 
a couple little spots in the seats. Um, door shut, great. Inside the trunk has a spare, and you can see all the pictures of the trunk. Uh, it's got the spare and the mat. Does have a black parade boot, real nice shape as well. The uh, back of the trunk lid fits good against the uh, top of the quarters. And the, again, the quarters are super straight. There's no wave to it, no choppiness, nothing. They are. Like I said, it's a good quality car. It just was done quite a few years ago, yeah. uh, as far as under the hood, original interior. Um, other than that, it shows really well. Yeah, and I, I do like the color a lot, too. I kind of like the barrier blue just a little better. This is kind of the, this is the same as a marina blue in the in the uh, Chevelle. Um, I posted on her website what it was called in the Pontiac. I like this too. They didn't go ahead and fill this in. So many times when they do body work or something, they always fill this in and it always cracks. It's got the original lead line right there. Both sides of the top. It's just awesome. You're not going to find a nicer top really than that. A couple little paint chips right along this seam right here. Just a little paint chip. A couple little chips right up there. Um, bottom of the door fits, you're not going to find it to fit any better than that on the back of the quarter. Um, behind the rear wheel is really good, over the wheel is excellent. Bottom of the fender is nice. Looks like there's a little scratch right up there. Yeah, it's a scratch. Back of the hood fits good. Driver's door is just as nice as the passenger in the corner. Rubbers have been replaced during the paint job. Again, driver's door panel, original, faded down there. Two four two, real GTO, not a clone. Let's see how she drives, huh? I'm excited, driver. Wipers work. It's idling right now. High runner. I'm going to station it for any hour. Heater fan doesn't work. The radio does. does. Yeah. Horn doesn't work either. Gas gauge works, all the aftermarket gauges work. So it looks like the horn and uh, the horn and heater fan are working. And of course the order of the mirror, yeah. Rear view mirror is super tight, very nice there. And inside the check out the inside here though. Like I said new top, they also went ahead and did the all the uh, new rails and yeah, everything's going on the inside. Never disappoint, do they? No, they're always they're always fast. Everyone the steering wheel needs to be aligned a little bit. Um, as far as our brake pedal, we got a good brake pedal on it. It turns me to going into third. This thing pulls. It's got a lot of power. Yeah, it does. Fast car. 70 mile an hour just like that for a second, third, fourth. Clutch feels great. Transmission. Synchro's nice. down in the third there. So those four barrels kicking in. The only thing better sound than that's the tri power kicking in. Yeah. The other GTO wheel. Gas gauge works great. Speedometer doesn't bounce around. Besides the steering wheel being needs to be readjusted a little bit, hard drive's great now. Yeah, it does. What was that a yawn? That was a yawn. Nice it's been a, yeah, it's been a long day. 
What do I have to give her out a circle or something to get you a smile? You might have to. You might have to do a donut or something, wake me up a little bit. But no, this is a this is a beautiful car. I like it a lot. And, and so we we got a lot of Pontiac. So if you like Pontiacs, you like GTOs, you got to get on the website and check out uh, all the stuff we got. Get one more little takeoff. Check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. I'll put the link in the description. I don't think this goat's gonna last very long.